Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about our speed density tuning and our power enrich feature. So our power enrich feature is just going to be commanding a richer target air fuel when we get into higher load and higher throttle angle conditions, such as our full throttle tuning. We found out how that works in the last video and we took a look at using it with the mass airflow sensor. So in this video, we're going to take a specific look at doing our power enrich tuning or wide open throttle tuning in our speed density operating systems. I'm going to show you how to create a custom histogram for a virtual VE style speed density tuning as well as a two bar operating system so you're able to tackle your wide open throttle open loop tuning using your power and rich feature. Without further wait, let's jump in the video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started here. We're going to be taking a look at working with our power and rich feature and our speed density tuning. So in the previous video, we took a look at our math process going in and setting up our power and rich. So hit the target air fuel that we want it under power enrichment. And then we went from our VCM scanner for the histogram that we created here for our MAF wide open throttle air fuel error. And then we went back into our MAF curve and we updated the curve. So that process was pretty straightforward to do our wide open throttle fuel tuning. Now with speed density, it's going to be the same kind of a process. However, we have more data points to hit. So we definitely have to create custom histograms here so we can overlay our air fuel error. We'll take a look at that here in just a second. But just do a quick refresher here on our power and rich. If we jump under engine, we jump here from general idle airflow fuel, then from general oxygen sensors, open loop power and rich. We're going to find this is the exact same thing we just covered in the previous video. So we need to make sure that our throttle threshold here is going to be reasonable. So when we go from our closed loop operation into open loop into the high throttle conditions, we'll kick right into power and rich. We'll find this is going to be blocking us out. We also see that we have our engine load here and engine RPM thresholds that we have to exceed in order to go into our power and rich. Also a delay period where it's going to be delaying the power and rich. Usually drop this down to something like 1000 RPM so it doesn't go and have any kind of delay. And then our power and rich here, the EQ ratio gas. This is going to be establishing what we want the target or commanded air fuel to be under power and rich. So this is going to be part of the fuel mass is equal to air mass divided by the target air fuel equation. Remember, if we command a richer target or commanded air fuel, it's going to be increasing the injector pulse width and it's going to richen up the mixture. So our goal is to get our wide open throttle area of operation, whether it's going to be in virtual VE or two bar operating system for the VE tables to match what we're commanding here. That way we know our VE tables have been programmed properly. So this is going to be simply uh, to figure out what this value is going to be. It's fuel to air ratio. So we have to take a look at our stoich of the fuel that we're running. So our stoich point here, if we go into general, we're going to be assuming here at 0% ethanol on the, on the first break point here. Let's assume we have no ethanol in our gas. We'll find that our air fuel here would be 14.67. So we divide that number by 14.67 and we would get our gas, pure gas air fuel scale or air fuel ratio. Let's jump back in here real quick. 